demo kit provides everything that we need to show a customer how easy it can be to implement a predictive maintenance schedule at their facility. Included in the demo kit is a demo sensor setup card with the bill of materials and actually how to demo this product. The back part of this document talks about uh, helpful hints related to the wireless network itself, such as binding new radios into this network or conducting a site survey, which is an important part of any wireless sales cycle. For hardware, we have our QM42VT1 vibration and temperature sensing unit, a battery powered Q45 node with an indicator LED. We use this to power up the vibration and temperature sensing unit. A DX80 gateway, a 12 volt battery box for powering our gateway, as well as a wall charger for recharging that battery pack. To set up your demo, the first thing we'll do, go ahead and plug in the 12 volt battery pack to our DX80 gateway. to apply power. Next, we'll plug in our vibration and temperature sensing unit to the Q45 node. The final step is to open up the clear cover on the Q45 and press this button inside to apply power from the batteries. After initial power on, we'll see a yellow indicator LED. This is indicating that we are currently in a fast sample mode, taking measurements from the vibration sensor every two seconds. We'll also see a green indicator LED flashing. This is uh, signifying that we have a, established our network between the gateway and node. Before we close out the cover, I'll point out we do have a bank of dip switches inside of the Q45 node itself. And these dip switches can be used to control uh, adjusting thresholds as to when we turn on the front indicator LED of this Q45 sense node. Since we're in that fast uh, sampling rate right now, all we need to do to demonstrate how uh, the vibration sensor is working is simply just tap on the side of the sensor. So we'll see just a simple tapping on the side of this provides enough vibration to uh, exceed the threshold and turn on our indicator LED. We'll also notice on the DX80 gateway the LCD display will indicate uh, the different measured levels that we're seeing. Uh, the first two I.O. points are related to the vibration, and then I.O. 3 and I.O. 4 are measurements of temperature. So useful information that we can see right on the front of the gateway. When you're all done, to turn the Q45 sensor off, just press and hold that same button we used to turn it on and you'll see that the indicator LEDs turn off. If we don't do that step, the uh, radio will remain on for about 15 minutes after we've pulled power from the gateway, and then it will go into kind of a sleep cycle and wake up periodically to see if that gateway is, is turned back on and part of the network. Hopefully that uh, shows you how easy it can be to, to implement a predictive maintenance schedule at your customer's facility. Any questions, uh, feel free to contact us at Banner Engineering. Thank you.